All right, hello again. I'm back. Pronto. I just did a video in Spanish of the one I did before that. Don't know exactly why, but I did. So now it's uh, 5.09 p.m. 17th of November 2021 of, on the East Coast here of the U.S. in New Jersey. As you know, a great deal has been happening today with the volcano. It seems to have just come alive in an incredible way here. Very ominous type of development. Um, I reported earlier this afternoon in that video that there were, I counted about 200 earthquakes or, or so, so far for the day. Now I'm here back on here. I heard reports, and this was hours ago actually, that it's past 300. It finally passed the 300 mark after all this time. I think that's a record, a grand record, all time uh, for this event. Um, so there's still more time left in the day. I don't know the count right now. It must be, well, it sh should be well over 300. I don't know. Will it get to 400 or will it slow down? I don't know. And so this chart you see up here, I don't know how old this is either from the day. But as you can see all the way to the right here, See this line all the way to the right? That's the day's amount. Now, I don't think that includes from hours ago and toward the rest of the day, so it might surpass, um, I don't know, the one in the middle here. See that one? The highest one in the middle. Um, I'm not sure about all this. But anyway, over 300, I believe. That may have already topped that. Don't hold me to that, but that's what I'm here to tell you as far as that goes. But you could see it just shot up. You could see that obviously there. Amazing. Uh, after all those days, it made a big W. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, don't start me on the W and, and V thing. But <laughs> So I'm going to read some comments that I saw online in different places, different people commenting on different uh, videos on different channels. Um, there's a lot that's going on here. It just happened all at once. It seems like... It's, there's been landslides, I believe, at least two verified right on the island. So land is starting to slip and slide. Um, I think one of those was right at the cone, piece of the cone on the side there. Not the cone itself collapsing, which we've heard all along. Then it sort of blows itself up again and refills the chamber. Not the chamber, uh, but the vent, the main vents, you know, fills it up and, and then it blows off again. That's not what I'm talking about. This was on the side, on the outside, the actual mountain there. There's been pieces crumbling off. I'm not sure of all the details, but that's what I heard. That's all I could say right now, how serious it is or not. Also, in other parts of the island, that's been reported also, so I don't know. But I found so much good information all this time, looking at videos and reading the comments. Um, I was going to come back, you know, a long, long time ago. I said I had, I was going to read comments. I never did. I, I have just have so many that I kept. But this is from today and the comments of others about what's going on and what may be ready to happen um, any moment now. I, I really haven't been watching any bit of the live stream except very, very tiny moment just to check in once in a while today. So I'm not even really too much aware of what's going on, though I do see the same story there, the same picture, the same events going on there, great uh, blow off of flames and eruption and so and loudness that's hidden camouflaged so you can't really hear it that's going on in the background. So I would expect the same thing to happen overnight. Um, and um, there's been a lot of emphasis put on beginning today and into the next to, to at least a few days here for certain reasons. I'll read the comments. You'll see what I mean about things that are, are events that are about to happen, uh, which could uh, possibly affect this volcano even more. So it's really, um, you know, sitting on the edge of the seat to see what might come about of this with these developments here as it suddenly just sprung back in full force. Um, at least as far as uh, the apparent earthquakes go, but the magnitude has been the same, basically. And of course, the de development of these landslides, the first time we're really hearing this actually happening. So 
is something starting here? Is, is, is this the start of it? That's what many are asking of, you know, is, is there a landslide beginning with the land uh, breaking? So let's, let's get into this. These comments sort of bring up these points. So as I go along, I'll sort of, uh, you know, address them and see what happens here. So the first comment here indiscriminately, I didn't plan it this way, but it says, uh, breaking news, 300 earthquakes so far today in the last 24 hours. This is the biggest earthquake swarm from the eruption. I guess Bushcraft Bear and Dutch Sense were wrong and we were right about this volcano. So whenever the events change, and things become more serious, there's a backtracking of, of this propaganda and controlled information where these people look good either way, no matter what happens. And that's on purpose, because their statements that precede these events uh, take a, take a, you know, a two-way ex two extreme, a polar ex extreme. One minute they're saying it's bad and it's going to get worse. The next minute, no, it's easing off. So whatever happens, they could just revert to what they said and make you forget about, you know, what they said before and, and emphasize what they said um, in their favor for what, no matter what happens, if you know what I'm saying. And so um, I've always felt that way about Dutch sense since all these years through these years since i've been listening to him really uh, even though i you know told others that they could get information about earthquakes from him in my videos but i also introduced uh bushcraft bear right at the start in my videos as, as a you know recommendation for to listen to and then i gained discernment and understanding and the sense within me that wouldn't go away and, um, you know, what the real story is. So I think others are beginning to see what the truth is. Others who don't want to see won't. They'll just get upset, go away. And, uh, you know, it's sort of like a movie star or a musician idolization or infatuation with someone where they could do no wrong. And whatever others want to believe, they'll believe it about someone. The next comment says... The 19th will be unforgettable. Today's the 17th Wednesday, so Friday. And there's things going on now into Friday. So we'll see how unforgettable, you know, it possibly could could be right now. And with events unfolding and being kicked off again, it seems like. And the next comment was that more landslides were also detected on La Palma. Uh, I just mentioned that, so I really didn't go listen to Bushcraft Bear's videos. I'm not going to. I, I don't want to, um, but apparently that's what he mentioned and sort of broke that news. Now he comes on with breaking news, you know, <laughs> all of a sudden with that kind of uh, approach. Uh, so the next comment was, um, that thing is going to break during the blood moon. That thing obviously means the volcano saying that it's going to bust open during this blood moon. So that's another aspect of it. I really haven't been following this whole thing about blood moon. I've been hearing about it and, you know, a lot of people have had dreams about this uh, blood moon occurring at near the time of the rapture of Jesus appearing and taking his church. Uh, the next one says that the landslides continue to increase in frequency. They're apparently happening inland now. So there's the other point. Um, it's happening in different places. So I, I can't confirm this. It's just some things I'm hearing. I'm just repeating, you know, others' comments. And so um, it says the next one, I am following Bushcraft Bear. And he updated about three hours ago saying he couldn't even sleep much with all the quakes. He did, did say there was a lull in quakes and the residents were feeling better, but now they are all worried again. So he keeps, he keeps changing his tune, you know, playing the game, uh, name that tune, whatever the tune is, he uh, fills in the blanks, uh, you know, reverts to whatever kind of uh, tactic that fits his purposes. Uh, you know, people come out smelling like roses, no matter what they do, that, that kind of thing. 
And uh, there were reports by made on the, you know, volcano discovery of people giving the report that they felt the quake, that, you know, those reports where people can just say they uh, explained what they experienced. And um, some of them were saying it's the worst by far that that has happened so far. And we know that there was a 5.4 at least reported, and that also by Bushcraft Bear. And if they're saying it was much worse than that, then you got to know that it's possible or even likely that it was bigger than 5.4. Maybe, uh, I don't know if it hit the 6 range yet, but it's it's possible, I don't know. And also that other other islands there ha are increasingly feeling the, the, the repercussions of these quakes. So it, it's not just there, they're feeling it on the other islands also. That's becoming more uh, prevalent and common now these days as, as we're come to this point here. Someone else said that there were several quakes in, in England and Scotland today also. Now, Scotland piques my curiosity here because that was where the, uh, what is it, C-26 or climate, whatever it's called, all the nations, the big honchos and leaders from all the countries got together there a week or two ago. And uh, that's been said to be very Masonic. That's like the home of masonry. And um, so that's kind of interesting that a quake occurred right there in Scotland, whether there's any, you know, relevance to that or not. But I just thought, you know, that's where that took place at now that that occurred there just now. That's sort of like where the, all the world governance converges and, and meets sort of behind the scenes. People don't even really know what they're doing. Uh, enacting laws and, um, you know, spearheading uh, laws and things that are going to happen in the world and mandates based on supposed climate issues. That's uh, very draconian and what they are doing and planning to do and continue uh, from this kind of uh, mentality and thinking, you know, Mother Earth thinking, world is too populated, etc. Uh, all right, so anyway, the next comment was that asked the question will the will the full full moon if I could pronounce it and the lunar eclipse affect the volcano so now we have introduced here that there's going to be a full moon and also a lunar eclipse and also the blood moon and that's a, I don't know uh, don't quote me on this but something about a double blood moon and there's also another term for it and it's very special and it's going to be like the longest lasting blood moon for three and a half hours in, in I don't know how long uh, a millennium maybe I'm way off on that but in a long time anyway so uh, definitely the moon um, uh, phases are pretty much known to affect the push and pull of water uh, for the tides and also it said can affect volcanoes uh, etc earthquakes and so on uh, I'm not here to you know create a, a argument not an argument but like go into all this um, but that's said to be to be true basically and it says that's coming the 18th and the 19th so that's tomorrow and the next day and then uh, here's an interesting comment another aspect of this goes on to say someone says it has to do with the orbital position of the black star and super plumes of lava reacting to it and this says according to Terrell black star on Brightian again I've known about this person for many years uh, I've listened but it's very sensational to me it's always been whether you know in other words what he's saying here I, I believe is, is basically true and I've, I've held this position I'll get into that in a second but um, just his I don't know what I sense and selling things and that kind of thing it's it just I don't want to get too much into this and start you know saying something uh, uh, negative again here but something just didn't strike me right and with mostly all of these through the years something is not right there you know there's a lot of people with disinformation specialists artists uh, co in and then tell you know they give the truth what seems like but there it's like half the truth or there's a hidden motive behind you know revealing certain things uh, all I'm gonna say about this I don't want to 
linger on this too long because I don't want to say too much here for certain reasons, but um, I mentioned and have photos day after day after day, just like um, I've seen angels. I see this, uh, these heavenly objects, this uh, uh, group or system of planetary-like objects that look right to appear right over the volcano, especially around noontime, and I see it like clockwork from the morning, and then it sort of gets there uh, midday, and then it's, it slowly passes, and then it seems like uh, the volcano starts acting up immediately, and then at night it goes ballistic. So this is sort of like a cyclical, cyclical thing, and many have asked a lot of times that I've heard, you know, wondering, why does the volcano seem to come alive at night? Well, I'm just going to leave it there, but um, I see it all the time, and large, very large, they're, they're obscured, they're very much uh, reasons why you can't see it on purpose, but I could see it. I've taken many, many shots I have right now. I have that, and I posted some in my community page. Uh, that's only a tiny portion of what I have. I mean, so that alone, this aspect of things alone, is really major and can be, you know, the offsetting, the major cause of what's happening here. And then the next comment says that it seems like every time it calms down, it is really building up to bigger bursts. Um, I guess three or four days ago I did a video about that, and I read this article of experts uh, experts who came to the conclusion that when um, quakes, you know, become less and less and things become very quiet, that that means that tremendous pressure is building. And the more time passes when it seems like nothing is happening, the more pressure is building. So I've said this in the, during this past week, and I've been expecting major, major blow up because of this. And sure enough, um, this is what happened today. So apparently that's what the explanation really has been of why that's been happening among all these other factors. Again, another person asked the question, what about the small landslide near the top of the volcano this morning? Um, I can't answer this beyond what I just said. I'd like to find out more, too, and if there's been any more that has happened since then and where and the significance of that. So maybe I'll find that, I don't know, elsewhere if that information comes out. But there's so little information, so few channels, you know, that you could get good information from that are really covering this and tru truly and um, that, that's why I like to listen to comments because just like this you gain so much insight and information people uh, they say very intelligent things and um, this next comment really got me curious here and the person says that there have been today a few, a few small landslides along Old Peak I didn't get a chance to research that. Uh, I'm too tired to go looking into every little thing. Whatever Old Peak refers to, I don't think it refers to the, the, the Cumbre Vieja volcano, or if that's another name for it. If not, where that is, um, and to verify that, and that could be major. If that's a part of the rift, or even the the uh, to the north, that major, much bigger caldera, and dormant earthquake area, if that has to do with that. And in the last video, I mentioned that the big earthquake uh, within the 24 hours, the 4.8 or whatever, which is really much larger apparently, it occurred to the north of, of Cumbre Viejo on that ridge area, which starts to head up toward that region. So I don't know, I can't confirm any of this or what it means, but I had said that maybe it indicates magma thrusting up into that area also. I don't know. And also, what I didn't mention from maybe three or four days ago were reports that I heard that up in that region to the north, that main caldera, that there were indications that others said uh, there was water or bubbling or something, carbon or sulfur and helium somehow at, at a certain spot. I don't know where or where these reports came from or, or to verify that or if it has any significance or how large it was or what have you. Um, it does seem to me like there's a lot of gas 
the gas involved with these explosions and in general going on here. So, you know, there's been those who say that the volcano is intersecting or uh, impinging upon natural gas uh, deposits or also oil deposits. I have no idea. I don't know how that could exist in, in a volcano because the whole island is a volcano. Maybe others others would know, but I did see indications one night and, and it made me wonder about a week ago. I was watching live stream at night just as it turned dark and they were just showing some lava pools, just areas where still shots of, of the lava. And I noticed several times that it, there was like a a bluish glow and yellow glow uh, above uh, the red, you know, reddish glow of the lava itself. And so that made me wonder, is, is there, uh, you know, gas sort of seeping down there and it sort of lit it up a little bit and you could see it at night when you sh when it's the, the cameras focused on that. Something had to be turning the color you know, just like when you put on your ga a gas grill to barbecue and uh, you'll see blue and so on, different colors and the flame color, the dark, you know, the reddish color, reddish color. And also there was, like I said, yellowish. Uh, yellow indicates sulfur. I don't know if sulfur, sulfur burns yellow. I don't know, you know, I'm just saying what I saw and whatever the causes or reasons I'm not knowledgeable of or if this even matters but I just thought I'd mention it another person said it said that that quake was definitely a 5.5 at least I agree I definitely agree I think it could have even been higher next one says that a landslide has begun per bushcraft bear so he was the one reporting that boots on the ground as they say but I don't go by that because uh I could see just as much or more than, you know, than he can by just claiming, well, he's an authority, so don't go against that. He should know because he's there. That doesn't matter. I could see plenty, even more, sitting at my computer and looking at certain things and, uh, you know, evaluating. Uh, it doesn't matter if someone's there, you know, and you could get, you could get the information anywhere and be aware even more of what they see and are, are saying. So to me, that's sort of a lame, lame excuse, uh, you know, for saying someone is an expert and you have no right to, uh, you're, you know, you're not there, so you have no right to uh, contradict it or to say that you know more than that person. Well, he and others aren't experts, experts either. They're just basically repeating what they're told or whatever the status quo for whatever reason they're doing it though they come off like experts and look like they're authorities you know and no one should uh, go against that or they're attacking uh, a sacred cow and someone else continues on with that and says uh, be be bear just report it and post it a video about an hour ago with video of landslides and looked shaken he said there were many earthquakes that kept him up last night. Uh, I also suggest that he gets that raft ready. Not that it's it's going to matter if something like that happens, but uh, he said a month ago, or or maybe more, that when he was shaken, that his house shook, or whatever wherever he lives, uh, that he was thinking of, and he was going to, I think he did say he was going to take his mattress outside and get his bug out gear going. Um, and sleep out there so that, you know, if anything happened, uh, you know, and broke off in his house, it wouldn't fall on him. I guess that's what he was saying. He'd be safe and be ready to, to flee if necessary. So I don't know if he, if he was really shaken or, or what his whole thing is there, or if that's just a part of, you know, his uh, ceremonial uh, green screening situation there. But then he'll come back the next day like nothing's happening, all confident and everything, sitting on a hill, all peaceful, meditating, how wonderful everything is, and below everything is calm and serene, everything is good. And uh, he said, uh, you have nothing to fear. That was in one video footage I saw about three or four days ago. Just indoctrination in, in the face of, of all, in the face of reality here. Next one said that it seems like activity increased approaching 
uh, the full moon, and then and the longest eclipse since 1440. All right, so since 1440, uh, almost I guess about 600 years that would be since the longest eclipse happened. And then the next point here it says both of those con coinciding with a massive solar storm. So th this is going on. A big solar storm is is impending right here. I don't know where it is or when it's, but it's it's imminent at the same time of all of this. Next one said it will probably get to 330 quakes today. Well, maybe about three or four hours ago it was over 300. So I would imagine at least that, maybe surpassing that, and see what the final tally is, if, if it's accurately uh, portrayed, you know. Then the next person says, um, La Palma might have 500 earthquakes tomorrow, with possibly an 8.0 breaking the island. A landslide and tsunami are certain uh, in any scenario. I have no idea. I'm just, I'm just reading that. Um, I do expect a magnitude quake that I have been saying this all along and others uh, have been also and I haven't retracted that I believe this is going to happen imminently also I can't tell when nobody does but I think this is in the cards and continues to be any time any day here I don't know it may have reached 400 earthquakes today or it may have, have calmed down so um, whatever reasoning is being used here why it would go that high but again all the things I mentioned here coinciding together uh, you know it's potluck here potluck dinner and before I forget someone is going to mention down there below about the fact that uh, you know it's going to take an earthquake that big to cause that break off um, but in, in a certain sense I totally disagree because that uh, island has been pounded and that area the western flank near the volcano to the south that whole region in concern um, I mean this was stated well over a month ago that 35,000 quakes have happened in that area even though they were small even though they may have been minor so-called minor trem trem tremors okay the point the point is uh, obviously this Island has been shaking, shaking, shaking with small and large and just shaking, shaking. If you shake something enough, something's going to bust loose, okay? Uh, I think something of that magnitude would do the job. It would do the trick. I've been saying that all along, and that would be the clincher. But the damage and the loosening that has occurred up to this point is uncertain too, but it's it makes sense that it, it couldn't have been helping, right? It had to have been doing something, loosening things more and more, jarring the whole island specifically that that area and now uh, really the first time time we're hearing reports on this day this major day this major news of, of all these quakes there seems like I think it's the record by far maybe uh, of all of all since the beginning of this um, that landslides have been reported here not just one but but more than that so I think that's a major sign major development here of the point that maybe this has, has finally reached and again suddenly in one day really this scenario has has unfolded to a large degree though as I've said I've been reporting all along that it, from what I've seen at night and the magma and so forth and the explosions and booms and shaking that really um, this has been going on all along here even though it seems like it's been quiet so-called quiet and in this you know dormant relaxed state for the past week or even longer Okay, so there it is right there that the person says it's the 6.0 to 8.0 quakes that count. So, yeah, I think in, to a large degree that that's true. And again, you know, you're not going to get this uh, warning or something. It's something that, just like today, you're going to wake up. Well, you know, you woke, people woke up today and they're looked online and now this is the news. This is all that I have said. Well, how everything just... Uh, totally escalated at a moment's notice so a quake like that it's just going to hit you know what i'm saying it's just going to hit at some moment if if it does uh there's a lot of reasons why it probably will very much likely and this is ongoing here and i keep issuing these these warnings so again again the next person just reiterates the whole thing it says with the full moon lunar eclipse and massive solar storm there might be an 8.0 or higher tomorrow 
yeah, well, all these things are converging. I've been expecting it. Others have been expecting such a thing. So, uh, again, all bets are off. This could go down, really. It could any time here with all these factors especially. Again, the next person talks about, um, he asks, What's, what about the small landslide near the top of the volcano? Again, I'll try to, if I find information, I will. And the person, next person says, it's a warning sign that the big landslide is underway. So that kind of, you know, makes a lot of sense. And you get a, a feeling that that could be the case here. Two landslides confirmed again. Um, once more, how can an island withstand so many earthquakes over the span of two full months? And then the person says, maybe because he, had, oh no, this is about bushcraft bear, uh, boots on the ground thing again. This is different, and I, I just talked about that. You know, so what? Boots on the ground, that, that means nothing. I mean, I don't even, you know, he's basically just sort of repeating what he hears also, and then, but he has a, a microphone, you know, to speak to a larger audience, that's all, and he keeps contradicting what he's saying uh, to boot. <laughs> to put the phrase in that term. The next one says that the entire island shifted today and now it's unstable to the point where it could collapse any minute. I don't know. I don't have information about how the island shifted today or what they were, they were talking about, whether deflation occurred or what they meant by that, or if they know something. I don't know. But just reading that hits me right in the gut of my stomach for some reason as possible as possibly you know true and when I get nauseous about something it's like you know it hits me it could be very much possible what they're saying and the next one addresses you know why things have been slowing down what could be the reason by saying that every time the volcano slows it deflates uh, the rock sinks down uh, this up-down process loosens the rock, so the next magma pressurized filling is more hazardous. Yeah, exactly. So that, you know, even the inside is crumbling over and over, and the more it keeps crumbling, the more the sides, it gets bigger, and it keeps collapsing, and um, the more it keeps trying to uh, blow the pressure off of, of all the rocks that have fell into it and collapsed on it, and the next person goes on even more information or ideas saying that this process was described by geologists. It's most likely to break off after a slowdown and then a sudden resurgence. Well, that's exactly what has happened here. Um, a lot like wiggling a loose tooth. Plus, I would think the hot, cold treatment would also weaken the rock, which is not exactly volcanic grade pyrex. Right, so... The rock is experiencing expansion and um, uh, deflation by the fact that, I guess, the temperature difference, if that's accurate, but I'm just saying. Next person says, I think BCB might be controlled opposition. Next person says, love those hand signals of his too. Next one responds by saying, uh, Joseph Aquaviva has done a decode on him. Uh, I've seen those videos in the past weeks here. Um, uh, very interesting. I'm not going to go into this much longer. I'm not going to comment, really. I don't usually uh, refer or recommend channels except occasionally, so I'm not going to say anything beyond that. But I think that's this is, this is definitely true about him, and there are these uh, signs that of occultism, without a doubt. And this person says, I know this, this all sounds harsh and others may turn this off and say, I'm not listening to this anymore. Anyway, continues, every time I see Bushcraft Bear, I think of the word Diablo, which says it all. So do I. If you look at those pictures and the screenshots I put up there last week, one was him standing there. This was from his uh, German video, and it, he didn't put that, those images, those, mu those murals, on the wall behind him in the American version, just in, in the German version. You could see him standing there on the left and in the background to the right of him. Um, if you go and look at those videos, the screenshots I put on were, were um, these, these wings, these phoenix-looking wings with 
rainbows on them and these two satanic lightning bolts in the middle of it and then there was that that figure that hooded red hooded figure to the right of that with the wide eyes looking you know sinister uh sly looking with wide eyes and upturned spanish type mustache with a goatee hmm where did i hear that or see that before uh looking like the the v from the v for vendetta character also he's been compared to or Don Quixote or whatever. So, I mean, was he trying to, to tell someone something or was that just an accident and he just liked to, you know, show some murals? The next person says he uses Masonic, Masonic hand signs, if anyone has noticed. Yeah, I've noticed, but especially from looking at videos and being attention being drawn to that fact. So I'm almost done here. Next person said that the moderator on the live stream this morning said that the volcano gave out an incredible amount of energy last night. Just last night, the equivalent of 36 years of electric consumption of La Palma. Another thing said that there also was a tornado coming out on the volcano and a huge shock wave. Also on this video, you see the vent that is one mile away from the volcano uh, that you had reported on it's on the lower right to see so to me these are even more ominous things like signs like the, the this volcano is like saying uh, you know I've had it kind of thing you know the tornado came out of it out of the, t the volcano and again there was a huge shock wave this has happened this has been on footage uh, a blowout effect um, and also this person mentions again that you could see that there's another vent a mile away from the volcano separate from it that you could see and I've se I've seen that before I believe there are other areas whatever you want to call them uh, eruption points or fissure points but really that's happening all over and also what I've said all along this white mist or smoke or vapor is said to be water and that's been gushing not gushing but uh, steaming all over that island different places like uh, like it's opening in, in in cracks and you know wherever that's coming from or whatever there seems to be an awful lot of water in there that's one of the major problems or thing that could, that could cause a great explosion if there's a large quake it will crack open and that tremendous uh, uh, pressure of the of the vaporized water that's trapped within the rock in certain strata will suddenly release and that will well, I don't know how many, like a thousand times the normal uh, explosion or whatever, something like that. But anyway, very much larger explosion would happen from the release of that vapor, which would just blow off tremendous amount of uh, energy. I forget what the term is uh, indicating that, I don't know, it's like a scientific term or something. But in other words, if you have something and then something else affects it, it can affect it and produce something way larger than the initial thing that it's uh, coming from or part of. Uh, I forget the, the term. I, I, I want to kind of stump now. I, I want to find out what that term is. I, I guess a common example would obviously be uh, fission or fusion where you take an atom and you split it and it produces such a tremendous release of energy and we know it, what that could do. Uh, just from that splitting atoms so and then someone says that it looks like the pressure from the 6.0 quake that happened around Albania may be moving toward La Palma if so get ready for a big quake or eruption yes this happens I've talked about this before that other quakes uh, send off a blast or wave or energy uh, particularly on the on the fault lines and travels to wherever the fault is. Now there's a major fault line just to the north of the islands and there's a sub or minor fault line just right by the islands there almost right on them just to the south. Uh, so pressure can migrate or trail or train on to, to, to those areas so you know uh, however long it takes. Sometimes it it's almost immediately or it could take a day or, or two days depending on where it is how far away and so on how big it was the depth or whatever so I mean I have no way to confirm that but it's just a statement there if that if that's what happened and yeah very much so there could be could be large energy also 
uh, that could synergistically happen. In other words, all the things I'm talking about, it's not just one thing or one or two things. All the things I talked about that are converging here now in the next, especially in the next two days and even beyond, would sort of all congregate or aggregate in one, you know, basic moment or, or time within a certain short time frame together. So, you know, in other words, it could, it could, it, would, it could heighten the effects, is what I'm saying, by their combined influence. Now, here's a, here's a really curious statement. It says, the person says, let's hope it's only a small landslide. I couldn't see it too good, but I hope it's not magma smoke trying to break through. So, I mean, what he's saying is the, the, this small landslide, there's another one, but this one right on the side of the, the volcano there, they're saying that there's a, there's a slide, a cracking there, and he's saying that hopefully it's not actually magma trying trying to break through there. That's indicated by the smoke uh, coming from that uh, break off, I guess, that, from what was being shown about it happening there. And again, my point has been all along. Oh, this person says it right here. Seems that it could be steam, and that was my next point says, I don't know, I'm not an expert. Well, neither am I, but I've been saying this all along. The steam is water, apparently, and water pressure and, and tremendous pressure under there that's also trying to push up. So with the magma trying to push up after all this time, the quakes, unending quakes, the getting larger and larger, the steam pressure that's been evident and just blowing that vapor that something is there it's been there it's trying to, to you know release and so you know could all these things be trying to push up and happen at once especially in tandem with everything I just described there and all these people are questioning and wondering also and finally um, not that I did this purposely finally but it says Dutch sense is a liar about a week ago he pub publicly trashed my channel and New York Preppers Channel saying we were fear-mongering and giving fake news. Him and Bushcraft Bear continually, continually downplayed our reports on this volcano. Yes, he recently changed his, his tune the last two days, but before he was ridiculing my channel and saying nothing was happening, okay, and that was off-grid desert farming. Uh, those are the two channels, and New York Prepper, that's been in this controversy. And I think Dutch Sense and even Bushcraft Bear uh, were seemingly obviously re referring to them um, and, you know, opposing them and mentioning them, uh, I guess indirectly, but in an obvious way. Um, you know, this happened like in the past couple of weeks or so. So, I mean, what are they going to say now after today? Um, you know, these are the kind of individuals, not just targeting those two, but all of them, all of these fakers and liars and uh, propagandists, they're going to go down with the ship no matter what, no matter what happens. All right, so that's that's that for that, for tonight here with these comments. Kind of interesting thing, all these things to think about, and sort of sums up what's ahead here. A lot of interesting things, a lot of information different aspects of it, different things that could be affecting this volcano right from this moment, but it's cert certainly been a very momentous, momentous day, possibly the most since this uh, eruption and this whole situation, the earthquakes, everything began with this, with this volcano relating to this island, uh, what could happen to it. All right, everyone, that's it for now. Keep looking up, and as you can see here again on the right, there it is. It just spiked. I don't know if it reached the top by now. What time is it? Six? So it's 11 p.m. there. There's another hour. I'll have to check, see if it exceeded this all-time high. And I left this up on the left. That's very deceiving because it seems like, you know, well, let's, let me explain this real quickly here. To the left, all the way to the left, where the bars started and then moved to the right, that was the ninth, uh, that was 9-11, okay? So there you go. All of a sudden, from out of nowhere, this all these quakes started, eased off, and then came up again till the 19th, and then right there is when it, they seem to lessen 
and almost turn off and then that's where the eruption started and then it kept increasing 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 reaching this high point on i don't know late october here as you could see almost in the middle of the screen to the screen to the right and then since then it's like a drop 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 almost to nothing and then today it just loosed and broke loose maybe higher than the highest point here that i was showing um but you can't go by the ones on the left because the green uh, charting color here is 2.0 uh, or up to 3. You could basically throw that out. And also the fact that um, they didn't include the green or the 2.0 or more up to 3 in all the other quakes on this chart. So it's very, very deceptive. So a lot of us are asking you know, is this the point of no return? Has, has this happened here right now starting today? Is this a major point, a major turning point, a major sign of, uh, you know, we're at the last moments of this and this is going to uh, come to its conclusion one way or the other here? Uh, I can't be for sh say for sure. No one can. But all I could say is from today and all this I'm saying, I get a feeling, a certain feeling of, uh, I don't know, a different feeling, <laughs> like, it, you know, maybe the point is here type of feeling, really. Like, that's it. All of this pre-event pre, uh, mode, as serious as it's gotten, um, maybe it's it's the final stage, final point here could, could be happening here. Uh, again, prophetically, spiritually, I don't think regardless if others you know may be kind of doubtful or think i've i've seen birds that's fine uh but i've seen in footage all basically all this time day after day um angels okay and i believe i'm i'm in the right place at the right time i'm led to these literally every day and to me that's a major sign too that this isn't just some event or you know maybe it'll go away but prophetically and it points to Jesus, Jesus' return here at the rapture to take us out of here if this is going to gonna go down here, you know, very shortly. So to me, it's just a personal thing, again, I guess, but I'm sharing it, you know, whatever someone wants to believe or think or not. But um, it, to me, it's just a sign day after day and after day after day, week after week and month of confirmation that this is spiritual. This is God doing, you know, involved here and showing us that he's there and this is you know major and it has to do with the rapture happening and you know this event happening this break off all right that's it for now i'm pretty exhausted but uh unless something else goes down or i feel really impressed to come back on here tonight well it's only six o'clock so uh, my sleep schedule last night finally seemed to return at least for one night here to a normal kind of thing where i went to bed pretty early and woke up you know at a normal time in the morning right in the morning early morning after years and years so my time is kind of off I'm surprised it's six o'clock but I am I am already tired all right so hope you like this sort of special event or special report or you know, that's what it seemed like to me here anyway kind of a special feeling to it all that maybe we're on the very very brink of this uh, happening um well, we'll see, won't we? Or maybe we won't see if we're gone before that even takes place. But I, I believe absolutely we're going to be protected no matter where um, from the repercussions. If this goes off, um, I believe we're, we'll be gone from here. And, you know, this won't affect us as, as believers. This is judgment coming. I totally believe that aspect of all of this, totally. Uh, regardless of any man-made man aspects of this, which I didn't go into here, and I'm not, I'm not really going to. Um, I mean, we know that's a possibility also, but uh, really only Jesus, God knows um, what's really going on, who's doing what, and when, if, when, what, why, and how this is, this is going to go off and come to pass. So that's all I could say, and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.